taken care of and, and that we can step away from it that we can come here together and just oh make sure you're steering bro Bye.
like the same with milk. <laughs> but it's kind of hard to eat them on the spoon. <laughs> Bring the side eye going crazy. Uh, what happened, Charles? It's cold. <laughs> So I got a full on t shirt and I'm wet, but it's all for the Lord. Oh, where's yeah. the modesty, modesty, modesty. <laughs> Mommy, I threw up. <laughs> <laughs> Why does this have so much sauce? It's really good though. We gotta get, get, get hey, get hey, 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 this is fair. Judge! That's so foul. It's his birthday. Judge! Alright. Go, 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 go. Let's finish. Let it be chocolate. And well, first up right. for this bed over here oh. is. It's the longest spinning wheel I've ever seen. Stay on me! 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 Why do you think kids should come to the youth convention? Because their life will be changed. It's simple. Have an encounter with Jesus, it could change your life. That's why. Amen. I like that. You want to answer it? Gary. No? Gary. Gary. Why do you think kids should come to the youth convention? Uh, because it's, yeah, they get to experience God. I think the best part is they get to do it with 2,000 other students. And you don't get to experience that on a normal at camp, at youth group. So once a year, they get to do that and have that much fun. So, yeah. Amen. Put our hands. Are you recording? Yeah. Our hands. Yeah. <laughs> lucky time. Lucky time. We're lucky. We're going to get the front seats to the right. This is right. 
got it, I'm gonna walk away. So nobody helping. All right, Gary's being ruthless, and I'm gonna do the same thing. <laughs> what is the name of at least one of the two people? Their husband. Light bulb Christians have a light. Somebody say light. Light. Light bulb Christians have a light. But here is the thing about a light bulb Christian: they have a light. They know Bible verses. They know songs. They come to youth convention. They go to youth camp. They love Jesus. They have a relationship with him. But here's the thing about a light bulb Christian. A light bulb Christian's light is limited to a location. Explain what I mean by this. See, a light bulb can only shine when it's plugged in. And then it's limited to the place that it's plugged into. It's limited to a location. Someone say location. Location. See, light bulb Christians only shine at youth convention. Light bulb Christians only shine on Sunday morning or on Wednesday night. Light bulb Christians only shine when they're around other light bulbs. See, but... The reality is light doesn't make a lot of difference in a room full of light. It only makes difference in a room full of darkness. So listen, here's the difference between a light bulb Christian and a candle Christian. A light bulb Christian has a light, but their light is limited to a location. But see, here's the difference between a light bulb Christian and a candle Christian. A candle Christian doesn't just have a light. A candle Christian doesn't just shine. Bring that up. They share.